Well, I'm off to get, I'm off to get my four-year uh, colonoscopy. No, 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 that's not it. My four-year. Oh, they're gonna draw all the blood out of my body and replace. No, that's not it either. Something happens every four years that is really painful. Oh, right. I'm on my way to go vote. I hope you guys are getting up and going and voting uh, today as well. It is important. I, I tease, I make fun, but it is, it, it definitely is an important piece of uh, our country. And uh, it's, it's, you know, not every country gets to do things like this. And, and even if they do get to quote unquote vote, um, it's not, it's not quite what you and I would consider voting. It's good for us to exercise our right to do this. So I am going to go stretch my American muscle because uh, I don't really have any other muscles. So I'm going to go stretch that one and, and say what I think. That guy's riding his electric scooter cart thing on the road. Awesome. Here's a better view. Oh yeah, he's stopping even. Oh no, he's not. Whee! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Makeup Queen. She's the queen of all makeup. Or not the queen of makeup at all because she doesn't wear that much. But I have a hot girl in my car. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Even with these glasses on, I got a hot girl in my car. Why? I like those glasses. I know, I'm just saying, I still have glasses on. See, you, see kids, even if you wear glasses, you can get hot chicks. I am driving to my mama's house. And, uh, oh, here I go. Going through a red light, going through a red light. <laughs> Luckily, it was just a little side street. And I didn't really run it. It turned red while I was through it. Don't come and arrest me, please. And my mommy's home. Yay, I get to see her. Okay, bye. I voted today, woohoo! I don't wanna wait anymore, I just want to know and then be done with it. So we'll see, we shall see. But I voted and I got my fun little sticker. So I'm gonna stick it somewhere and then keep it on there for like the whole day. I don't know where, like, on my forehead or like somewhere really weird and obvious and like obnoxious. I don't know why. Maybe like on my sunglasses or something. I could be making a fashion statement. So I voted and it feels good. It was nice to get it done. It wasn't that bad. Uh, the, the place wasn't that busy and um, it feels good that I did my part and I voted exactly how I wanted to vote and I don't have to worry about it for another four years. So I hope that everyone here that's watching that can vote, I hope that all of you guys voted and that um, you voted to the best of your ability. Hmm? Hmm? Did you? I don't know. All right, guys, well, here's the deal. I forgot my camera in the car, so you guys haven't really seen too much of me for the rest of the day, and it's dark. I feel like we see each other mostly when it's dark now. Uh, it's like it's like a secret relationship. I just wait till it's nighttime and nobody can see me, and then I turn on the lights in my car and everybody can see me. <laughs> uh, we are watching, well, I guess we were kind of just uh, taking a look at this. Right now, the election is going on. Um, I am not at all going to promote one candidate or the other. The only thing that I will say is that I really do hope, like we said yesterday, that you guys read up on the things that you need, needed to read up on um, <clears throat> and that you voted your own conscience, that you voted what you believe to be the right choice for America. So I'm going to get off my soapbox on that and let you know that I'm really not that big of a patriot. So just so you know, I'm not like... America, hoorah, go everything America. That's just not who I am. So this will probably be for the, well, this will be for the next four years. You will never hear me say anything else against about politics. I can guarantee it. I just hope that if you are of age, you got off your butt and you went and voted because your opinion matters, regardless of whether that lines up with my opinion or not. Cool? Cool. But yes, I'm geeking out on election uh, stuff. And so is Danielle, kind of. Yes, I've been watching it all day long. <laughs> when it comes to, like, elections and things like that, like, 
it's different for me. And thinking about going to vote today and, you know, watching the election, it's kind of just like, there's gonna, there's a point in time in our life where we're going to look back and be like, we were a part of that. You know, this is, this is our history that we're a part of, you know, and we had a say in. Right. So it, it's a big deal to a lot of people. It's a big deal. But normally it's not like politics, like I don't know. But like election day for me, elections, it, you know, it's, I don't know. It's a big deal to me. That's all. We hope you guys are having as much fun watching this as well. Maybe some of you are even playing a drinking game. Yeah, that could be fun. I mean, <clears throat> what else? What else? What else could you do, right? I totally would be if I could be. I know, right? Maybe I will. No. You're not going to do that if I can't. That's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair for who? Me. For me, too. All right. See? This is what I'm saying. This is what elections <laughs> do to people. They they start them fighting. That's what, just what happens. And joining us with his report. Red Velvet Cupcake. Which is in a we have two men, we have two a four point roughly, or, uh, and we have a difference of 991 votes between the two candidates, according to the Secretary of State's website. There were five. We have elected uh, to keep the same president, and that's that is what it is. And uh, regardless, like I said, I'm not going to tell you whether I'm happy about it or I'm not. You're never going to know, because uh, the fact of the matter is, it just doesn't matter. But <clears throat> uh, you know, the one thing that, that does strike me, um, which I don't know, I haven't done, I haven't done all the math on this, but I feel like, I feel like not everybody went out and voted that should have voted, which kind of bums me out. And actually that really bums me out. And that's not, that has nothing to do with the results. That has everything to do with the fact that, um, I feel like a lot of times we say that, you know, we're so divided politically and socially even and uh, those of us that were able to go out and, and, and cast our vote, um, not even all of us went and did that, which, that, I, I gotta be honest, that, that part kind of bums me out, but yeah. I'd rather have 100% voter turnout than, what was it, like 50%, yeah. something like that? Anyway, <clears throat> that's my rant and rave about that. This cat is already asleep. Yeah, she's been, she's been cuddling here with me for how long? Uh, 30, 15? At, at least 30 minutes. minutes, yeah. So I think we are going to go to sleep. Congratulations, Barack Obama. Uh, and we will see how things move forward from here. And I hope that everybody can sleep well. And uh, remember that wh whatever, whatever way you voted today, if you voted, you did the right thing. That's hands down what I believe. Absolutely. <laughs> so we will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, the sun is going to rise and it's going to be Wednesday. So we will see you guys then. Good night. Good night. Let me show you guys the cover. Wait, how do you close this? Um, first step, smarter than the box. Second step, punch Cody in the head. <laughs>